Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick, the Dancing Ava Lady, and today we're having a pool party with Arctic Fox. Let's do this. the Arctic Fox Pool Party Ultra Hydrating Foaming Hair Mask. I bought this a little while ago. I've been really excited to try it. Just was waiting for the right time and now is the right time because during my last live there was a vote and they voted for me to try this one next. So if you want to take part in any of our votes, make sure you do join us every Friday night at 9.15 p.m. Toronto time for our live streams because we have a lot of fun. Grab a tea, grab a snack, and vote on what you want to see next on this channel. This here is part of a new collection here at Avon Canada, Arctic Fox. I have done a video before on the um, hair dye where I dyed the front part of my hair pink. It was gorgeous. It's washed out by now, which is perfectly fine because I'm going to be trying out purple next when I have a few hours. Now, what's really great about this is that you have many ways that you can use this, which I think is really exciting because, I mean, we all want options. The feature of this particular product is that it is 100% vegan. It is cruelty-free. It's made with hair health in mind so that means that there is absolutely zero 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 harsh chemicals in this product which absolutely makes sense because it is a hydrating foaming hair mask why would you want something that would be harsh for your hair it's formulated with gentle all natural ingredients as well as the claim is that this can repair damaged hair in as little as 10 minutes oh my gosh that's amazing I mean, my hair actually looks pretty decent right now so because I've been sweating all day. The product also contains healthy antioxidants, omegas, and natural oils. I am going to talk about a little bit about the key ingredients a little bit later on, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the other thing is that this is made in California, and it is free from parabens, sulfates, petroleum, mineral oil, and gluten. So this is a gluten-free product for those who need that. It is a foaming one, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to shake it up, shake it vigorously, and then apply it to your hair. The key ingredients in this is polycare split therapy, which is a technology that leaves dry and brittled hair soft, manageable, and smooth. It's also formulated with castor oil, which works as an emollient to coat and condition your hair by slowing down water evaporation. All right, also great, especially in the summer. And it does also contain argon oil, which we all know how great it is for your hair. Argon oil contains an essential fatty acid and omega oils to help fight frizz. And then it also has sunflower seed, which helps boost your hydration levels. And it has apple fruit extract, which contains polyphenols, which is a plant-based antioxidant, I can never say that word, um, that helps to naturalize free radicals present in the environment. So it is going to fix it and it's going to prevent stuff. Nice. So the way to use this, there's a couple of ways. First way is to apply it as a 10 minute pre-shower hair mask and then you rinse out followed by your shampoo and conditioner as normal. Now, you can also use it in the shampoo, uh, after you shampoo in the shower as an amplified conditioner. So, you know, for deep conditioning treatment at that, that one point. Another thing that I thought was super cool is that you can apply it to dry ends anytime for some extra conditioning. However, the most coolest thing coolest one of my back in high school. The thing that I was most excited about was the fact that you can apply it to after you wash your hair to achieve that sassy wet hair look. And who wouldn't want to look sassy and fun, especially in the summer, at a pool party? This is for anybody who is seeking a vegan hairline uh, that's cruelty free and for those who are also wanting a multi-purpose hair mask because you can use this as a hair mask, you can use it as a conditioner, and you can also use it as a, a, hair, a hair styling agent, which is super duper I'm gonna say it again, cool. I think the last time I went to a pool party, I was in high school. So maybe that's why I keep saying it. Another really great thing that you might not know about Arctic Fox, because I actually didn't realize this until I read this literally five minutes before I started filming, is that Arctic Fox, and I'm just gonna read this word for word, Arctic Fox encourages self-love, self-expression, and giving back to animals, donating 15% of its net profits to charities to help prevent animal cruelty and promote animal welfare. And they use the high hashtag die for a cause, D-Y-E for a cause. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So this has a lot of great things going for it. So let's give this a try. What I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna put it into my dry hair as a pre-conditioner. Uh, I'm actually gonna take my sweater off just in case there's some color in it. I am wearing a white sweater. 
I did it for my live video. Ooh, hello. Uh, and I, just in case there's some color in the product, I don't want to get on my sweater because I love that sweater. If you haven't yet, make sure you do watch my last live stream, which at this time of filming just happened a few minutes ago, where I got to meet Pink Floyd. I think I'm settled for that name. I was going to name him Chandler, but I think I'm going to name him Pink Floyd. I don't know why I'm saying him. It's just, it's coming. What I'm doing is I'm going to put it into my dry hair, leave it sitting, and then I'm going to shower and use my condition and stuff as per normal. Since I've changed my shampoo to the rosemary and sea salt shampoo from the Elastin Botanicals, I've been loving my hair texture. Um, normally I do have a very triangular shaped hairstyle where it's kind of heavy at the scalp and then frizzy at the bottom, kind of like, you know, the Simpson sisters. Yeah, Marge sisters, that's moi. A little less extreme, mind you, but I mean, that's literally what I usually felt like. Or like a poodle. Poodles are cute. So that's what I'm going to do for today. Uh, and then I am going to let it dry and show you the results. So my hair right now, it feels pretty good. I'm still having a bit of hair fallout, but it's definitely a lot better than what it was a few months ago after I chopped off my hair. My doctor says all of my levels are perfectly healthy and fine. So it could just be lack of sleep and stress. Then I'll let my hair dry and I'll come back on and show you what it looks like. Plus, I'm going to do another clip tomorrow morning, which will be technically the morning after I wash my hair. Look and see how it lands. Uh, they do say you'll see the most results after your hair is dried. So, I mean, that's why we're just going to wait a bit. So to use, shake, 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 spray, and wait. So let's try it. I have not tried this product whatsoever. So let's just do a little bit, almost like a swatch. I think it's just, okay, let's shake it a little bit more because it is aerosol. Oh, oh, it's like a peachy color. I was kind of hoping it would smell like candy, but it smells more floral, which isn't a bad thing, but I want it to smell like the hair dye, which smells like Jolly Rancher's candy. It's still very pretty, the scent. It is a little bit strong though. I might sneeze. I like the airy foaminess. So let's try this on my hair now. I just did my thumbnail, so that's why you'll see some of it on my, oh, hello. Okay, oh, I kind of really love the texture of this. Check that out, it's kind of fun. So I'm gonna put it, distribute it all through my hair. Now when they say pre-shampoo, I'm gonna assume they mean dry hair. It does say on the can, apply to dry hair as a pre-shampoo, leave on for 10 minutes. Okay, the texture of it, it's kind of creamy. I wonder how much I'm supposed to put on. I'm gonna do it in like batches. Now, I would recommend for you to do this in your bathroom. I can see how it gets you that beachy, sassy, wet look. Like, let's try to do that first. Change of plans. We're gonna try to do the beachy, wet, sassy look. In order for that to work though, this has to dry clear or else you're gonna get these white globs all over your hair, which is a little questionable. <laughs> I feel like I'm using a lot, but I don't think I'm actually using a lot just, just because it, air, it gets so aerated, right? Because it is foaming. I think I would love it a little bit more if it was a cherry fruity candy smell. It's, ve it's, it's very perfumey, but I mean, I think after I wash it out, it'll be fine too. We'll find out. Look at that shine though, guys. Oh my gosh. Now it's in. I'm going to leave it for 10 and see where that goes. But this is definitely that fun, like, sassy wet hair look now. I want to do a quick touch base after 10 minutes. Okay, guys? Be right back. This is kind of cute. It has been 10 minutes. This is what it looks like on dry hair after 10 minutes. It does give that, like, <laughs> you can say beachy. You can also say greasy hair vibe. But I mean, it is definitely a look. So far, I can still really smell the product. I did do some reading on it during this 10 minutes and it is, does have added fragrance to it. So that's probably why I'm like, whoa. Some people might find it absolutely super light. Again, I have a weird nose. Sometimes I smell a lot. Sometimes I smell nothing and then smell a lot the next day. I'm just odd. So it's very florally in my, florally? florally in my mind it's not unpleasant it's just strong like to the point where I can feel it like I can actually feel it around me which is just very different than what I'm used to so what we're going to do now we are going to go shower I'm going to wash my hair and condition my hair as per normal and then I'll do an update after that we are back we are showered cleansed and 
I have to say this before I take my hair down. What I did notice was after the 10 minutes, your hair kind of feels like it would with mousse in here. So it has like that slightly tacky texture that some people might like, some people might not like. I know my husband wouldn't like it. <laughs> if you were to like, hey baby, and try to brush his hand through my hair, he probably wouldn't like it. It's, however, when I washed my hair, it felt like liquid satin was washing on my hair. It was very, very smooth. And I was able to run my fingers through my hair as I was rinsing without any problems, which also led to less hair fallout. Oh my gosh, you don't understand how excited that made me because I'm very concerned about going bald because I was having such difficulties with losing hair over the last while. So I lost maybe like seven to 10 hairs, which is a lot, 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 lot less than what was happening before. Now, it could also be that I just washed my hair yesterday. That could be it too. But I mean, I've done back-to-back -back hair washes before where, you know, more hair would fall out at a time. So those were the things I noticed immediately. Let's take my hair out. Very shiny, but it's also wet. I'm gonna run my hands through my hair. Like, look how, look how easy that goes through. Even after I had my hair in a thing. And like, only what one two hairs that's pretty good for me now i'm gonna let my hair dry for a bit i may or may not blow dry it i'm not not one to tend to normally blow dry my hair but i have a few other things i want to get done around the house so we'll touch back again in a few all right hair is pretty much now dry it's i can still smell the fragrance from before but it is a lot lighter which is something that i do like now we are going to see what it's going to be like again tomorrow overall my hair does feel very soft it's finger combable it's gentle and i think that's one of those things that also you could do a couple of times to really get great effect it is shiny though look at that shine Ooh, look at that look at that look how shiny it is so we're going to do our final touch base in the morning after i slept on it Good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is now the next morning, obviously. And here is my hair texture. Literally, I have not done anything with my hair yet. But this is what my hair looks like the next day. It actually, excuse the mess in the back. Um, I think it doesn't look as frizzy as it normally would. So it still has a lot of volume to it. But it's not like, poof which is really nice. Like even though my um, Elastin Botanical really made a difference, the, the sea salt shampoo and conditioner I've been using, I think it did make a difference. And like my hair does feel very soft. Like listen, I woke up and I can run my fingers through my hair. That's unheard of, like seriously unheard of. And for the scent, it's very light now. So it's not as powerful as before. So overall, my thoughts are that personally, oh, Good morning, Kiwi. As a styling agent, not so much my thing. I didn't really like how it, how it felt. But again, I haven't really put products like that in my hair in years. And it's a super long time. As a mask and conditioner, I do like it. I do find the scent a little bit overpowering. But after I washed it out, it was completely fine. So I think if I did it in the shower, it'd be even quicker. Um, but I did like the results as a 10 minute thing. The great thing about it being a 10 minute pre-shower mask is that I don't have to, you know, stay in the shower for an extra 10 minutes while I let the mask sit on. Like, look, it still has like that nice, cause I'm naturally wavy, wavy hair, fluffy hair, essentially. So look, it still has that nice wave to it too. So it's not weighing it down at all. It looks like it hydrated my hair, but without weighing it down, which is quite nice. I like the results. I do like the results. Overall, happy with it. So if you want some more information on this product, make sure you do click on the link in the description box below. If you're new here, click subscribe for more videos. And if you want to learn more about repping for Avon, make sure you do also find me at Passions to Page Actress Click. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Silky smooth.